What's up, everybody? It's your boy James, you know, coming live. Hey, everybody. And it's your girl, Melissa. And it's your boy James here. And we are the, the answers, answers Uncut. Uncut. My baby is just acting so sick. Yo, he she... doesn't want to tell you guys how our baby was conceived in so, Jamaica. So, so it was our honeymoon. Kind of a little presidential suite. It was, it was our honeymoon You know, to be watching the water, you know what I'm saying? You know, Why are you not going to share that with our instant squad? Bumba Clyde, man. You know, <laughs> with the bottom mind don't share no secrets, man. That's my, that's my fake Jamaican accent, by okay, the way. Okay, I, I like it, I like it. It's but, cute. It's you know, in this video, what we want to <laughs> share with you guys are six things you need to know. Being pregnant, in this crazy pandemic, y'all. Uh, so, I, I don't even think I could have ever imagined being pregnant during a pandemic. But you guys, if you're expecting or you're thinking about having a baby and it's crazy during the pandemic and COVID, you definitely want to stay tuned and watch this video in its entirety. Let's, let's talk about the pandemic. So pregnant women are not necessarily at a higher risk of getting COVID, but they are at a higher risk of getting critically ill if they contract COVID while pregnant. Yeah. And ultimately this can cause them to go into premature birth and, and things like that. But um, yeah. first and foremost, the first thing that we want you to consider when it comes to pregnancy during a pandemic is traveling. Yep. I think that's a major concern for everybody during traveling, the pandemic. Traveling. But especially while you're pregnant. Yeah. And usually they tell you, like, you know, in like the late trimesters, mm -hmm. like the second trimester. Like, I think it's like the late third trimester or the first trimester, like in the very, very early stages, in the very last stages, mm -hmm. you don't want to be doing a lot of exactly, traveling. Exactly. But in between, you can kind of squeeze in a trip or two, which is what we actually did. We sure did. We actually <laughs> went all the way across the to world. To Africa. To Ghana in <laughs> West Africa. And it was a very interesting, amazing trip. Yes, um, yes. We definitely enjoyed ourselves. We were out there enjoying. But we almost got culture. stuck, you guys. We almost got stuck out we there. Got stuck. Oh, that is and a story for another yes, day. We'll say that for another episode. So, guys, if you guys are not subscribed to our channel, welcome. Yes. Thank you so much for being a part of the family. Um, just make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Yep, 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 um, but yep. the, just to give you guys a little bit of a history um, behind it, the reason why doctors don't want you to travel during your first trimester is because that's when the baby's brain is developing, right? Yeah. So you don't yeah. want to travel too abroad and be too risque, you know, when your baby's brain is developing. Yeah. Because I think they have like Zika viruses, and all, yeah, all that yeah. stuff that we had to think about when we had to decipher whether we were going to Africa or not. Yeah. But we did check with our doctor and all that good jazz. And then the last trimester, it's because, you know, you may have the baby at any moment. Yeah, so I don't like, even think they'll let you on a plane at, yeah, after 36 after weeks. After 36 weeks. The second thing that you want to know in terms of being pregnant during a pandemic is the COVID vaccine. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's like, take it. People are like, don't take it. But you want to figure out what's best for you and your family. Yes. Again, we are not giving out any type of advice because we are not medical professionals. But yep. these are just things that we want you guys to think about being pregnant during a pandemic. Because there's some medical professionals that say, hey, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And there's some medical professionals that have said, hey, you shouldn't get the, a COVID vaccine while you're pregnant. So yeah. I've literally had the same OBGYN the entire time. And I've seen different medical professionals that have told me different things. So definitely something you want to think about being pregnant during a pandemic. All right, guys. So the third thing we need to consider is gatherings. You know you're going to want to have a baby shower or a gender reveal. You know you want to get around friends and family and share the news. But you want to also consider your safety at the same time. Um, stay tuned, by the way, all the way to the end of this video because we'll share whether we are having a boy or a girl. I'm team boy, by the and way. And don't you fast forward either. Yep, yep. I'm team, I'm team boy, by the way, so you already know. Um, Whatever. But uh, you want to also really consider how you're going to go about doing that in a exactly. safe way. For us, we did our gender reveal via Zoom. Yeah. So we set everything up in our in our dining room and then we literally, you know, invited a bunch of friends and family and they were able to tune in 
on a special moment via Zoom. Yeah, so. and I think we had like 60 people on the yeah. Zoom call. It was insane. It was fun though. It was, fun. Uh, it was so much fun. And we had, you know, amazing family members that helped us throughout, yeah. like helped us decorate, help us with cupcakes and everything and then just made it amazing. So you really want to think about that during being pregnant during the pandemic for, for gatherings that are so special, like a baby shower, are you gonna be able to have them? So the fourth thing that we bring to you guys is gonna be going to your OBGYN visits. Guys, let's just face it, being pregnant is a whole different world. But being pregnant during a pandemic is just... <laughs> it's a little bit different. It's like a whole different universe. So many women, if you've had children, you guys already are aware that whenever you go to your OBGYN appointments that you want to be with your partner. I remember when we first started talking about uh, OBGYN, James was like, I want to be at every appointment. He wants to be at every appointment, every doctor's visit, every Zoom, yep. every in-person, everything. Trying to be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But unfortunately, yep. being pregnant during a pandemic doesn't allow you that opportunity. That's true. So many OBGYNs, including my own, will not allow a significant other or a partner or anybody other than the patient to be seen unless it's ultrasound. So again, guys, I've called a number of OBGYNs and all of them pretty much have the same policy because as pregnant women, we are not higher at risk because they don't want us to catch it because we are carrying a, a, a with child. So this is just something that we want you guys to think about being pregnant mm -hmm. during the pandemic because your pregnancy journey may look a little bit different. Your partner can be there to support you, but he may not be able to have the luxury of being with you at every doctor's appointment. So the fifth thing that you want to consider here is like the birth process. Are you going to have the baby in a hospital? Are you going to do a home birth? Um, that's a decision you want to make with your significant other. Um, and you guys want to be comfortable with that. Um, a lot of times too, you also want to consider, you know, the baby's well-being, you know, and you as the mother, whether, you know, that's going to be the best option for you being exposed to COVID and, you know, different things while you're at the hospital. Uh, so really and truly, that is something that we haven't really fully figured out whether we're going to... I know you wanted to do like a home birth, right? Yeah, definitely. I definitely wanted to. But um, being as though we're having a, <clears throat> you know, I may, we may need to. <clears throat> well, we'll just let you guys know. We are having a beautiful baby boy. It is a world. That's right. Um, that is right. We're just over the moon. But I think with that taken into consideration, you know, you we're thinking about circumcision and all that good jazz. So obviously stuff like that needs to be done in the hospital. But that leads me to my last thing, which is number six mm -hmm. at things you want to consider when you're pregnant during a pandemic. And that's going to be, who do you want at the birth? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that we've thought about this, but because it's a pandemic and because newborns are so fragile and delicate and their immune system needs a certain amount of time in order to really get to where it needs to be to fight off infection and disease, mm -hmm. do you want your whole family there, you know, greeting the baby when the baby is just a few hours old or a few days old? Yeah. And that's just something that you want to talk and discuss with your medical professional and that's definitely something that you want to talk through with your partner because it may be that you guys maybe decide you know to have parents and family members visit maybe after 30 or 60 days when you know yeah. that your baby is healthy and has a good and strong working immune system oh, yeah. if you guys have enjoyed this video um pregnant women beautiful pregnant women um if you guys have learned some tips from this we hope that it can help you in this time and lead you into a safe delivery yeah and until next time we, we are, are the, the answers, answers uncut, uncut.